You look beautiful. Thanks. You okay? I don't know. You don't know? Well, you seemed pretty okay not that long ago. What was my negligee doing on the floor? I uh, think that's just pretty much where it fell. When? <laughs> You're joking. No. Oh, come on. Was I that bad? Nick, why don't you just go ahead and tell me what's going on? I would, but I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about when I just came home and my negligee was all scrunched up on the floor and the bed was messed up. Yeah, well, I didn't do that by myself. All right. You want to tell me who you did it with? Don't look at me like that. You did this, not me. I didn't. I came home, you were wearing that negligee. God, how stupid do you think I am? I was gone. I was getting my hair done. Yeah, you got your hair done. It looked great. Stop. I cannot believe that you would do something like this in our home, in our bed. All right, this isn't funny anymore. If we weren't going to Monroe and Rosalie's wedding, it would make you pull over and I would get out. Juliet, I have no idea what you're talking about. Nick, you were in bed with somebody. Yeah, I was in bed with somebody. You. We made love. We didn't. Okay, then it was somebody who looked and sounded exactly like you, was in our bedroom, and was wearing your negligee. Nick, it wasn't me. Well, it had to have been you. Who else could it have been? Adeline called me. Last night? Today. She wanted to come over, and I told her I was going to be out. She knew you weren't going to be home. Oh, my God. If that was Adeline. Oh, my God. I'm going to be sick. 